Hello everyone. As part of my art integrated project in chemistry, the topic I have chosen is importance of pH in daily life. So, what is pH? pH historically denotes potential of hydrogen or power of hydrogen. It should be thought of simply as a number which indicates the acidic or basic nature of a solution. pH scale, as the name suggests, is a scale used to specify the acidity or basicity of an aqueous solution. It measures the hydrogen ion concentration in a solution. Acidic solutions are measured to have lower pH values than basic or alkaline solutions. This slide shows the pH scale. The pH of a neutral solution is 7. Values less than 7 on the pH scale represent an acidic solution. As the pH value increases from 7 to 14, it represents an increase in OH- ion concentration in a solution, that is, increase in the strength of alkali. Does pH only have to do with solutions in the laboratory? Or does it also affect plants and humans in daily life? Did you know that when acid rain flows into the rivers, the overall pH of the water reduces? and living organisms cannot survive if the change in pH is too much. In such cases, survival of aquatic animals becomes difficult. What about survival of plants? What's the most important factor for the healthy growth of a plant? Yes, it's the soil. Plants require a specific pH of the soil for healthy growth. Plants cannot grow if the soil is too alkaline or too acidic. So, if the soil is too acidic, its pH can be raised by adding lime, which neutralizes the excess acid in the soil. Similarly, if the soil is too alkaline, then its pH can be lowered by adding gypsum or some other substance which can neutralize the excess alkali present in the soil. Does it affect us too? We know that our stomach produces hydrochloric acid which helps in digestion. Sometimes, if too much acid is produced, it causes pain and irritation. It can even cause ulcers. In order to treat hyperacidity, a patient is advised to take antacid tablets or antacid suspensions. And these antacids can neutralize excess acid. Magnesium hydroxide, a mild base, is often used for this purpose and the reaction looks something like this. The acid is neutralized to get salt and water. What about pH in our mouth? Yes, the pH in our mouth also has an effect on our teeth. Tooth enamel is the hardest substance in our body and does not dissolve in water and mildly acidic solutions. However, it gets corroded slowly when the pH in the mouth falls below 5.5. But how does the pH fall below 5.5? When we eat food, some food particles remain stuck to the teeth. Bacteria present in the mouth produce acid by the degradation of sugar and food particles present in the mouth. This is what causes decaying of teeth. The best way to avoid this is to clean our mouth after eating food. And something even better would be to avoid eating sugary foods. Cleaning the teeth using toothpaste helps in preventing tooth decay. Toothpastes are generally basic and hence they neutralize the excess acid in the mouth and prevent tooth decay. The concept of pH also helps in understanding the self-defense used by certain animals and plants. If you've ever been stung by a honeybee, do you know what really caused that acute pain? Yes, it's the acid in that sting which caused that pain. So, if we use a mild base like baking soda around the stung area, it gives us some relief. And in nature, there are leaves which have stinging hair and they inject acid upon touching them. Again, we use something which is basic in nature to get some relief. So, these were some of the ways in which the concept of pH is used in daily life. With that, we come to the end of the presentation. I thank everyone for giving me the opportunity for such a wonderful learning experience. Thank you.